welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Monsterathon tag. This was created by Kate from Chapter Kate because she and a couple other people will be hosting the Monsterathon. I will link that September Readathon Twitter page down below where you can sign up to be on a team. We have so many people and all I'm gonna say until my TBR video where I tell you a little bit more about the Monsterathon is you should join Team Conspiracies with Nori and I. We are the two hosts of Team Conspiracies and yeah, I mean, I don't want to brag, but we're probably the coolest ones. So yeah. But all I'm gonna say on that front is I will also link the announcement video that Kate put together down below also. If you're thinking that you need to join the Monsterathon in September and you wanna know a little bit more about it because I am slacking and haven't gotten around to that video yet, you can go right down below and there are some lovely, lovely people who have already done it for me basically. So, but the Monsterathon tag is to basically take the same challenges for the Monsterathon and it's in a tag video. So I tried to pick up some books that aren't going to be on my TBR. So you're not basically watching the same video when I post my TBR. But yes, so this is the Monsterathon tag and I'm going to get into it and not right into it because I just spent almost two minutes talking. So <laughs> here we are. Usually I don't have my phone up when I'm doing this, but I didn't print this out, so yes. But the first challenge is Classic Creepers. Read a book with a classic horror monster. The book itself does not have to be horror but the monster or you know whatever within the book basically have a book with classic monster wow I cannot talk have a book with a classic monster in the story somewhere and so this one I have only read book one but I do plan on rereading book one and going on with the trilogy at some point in the next year or two but that is Shiver by Maggie Steve Otter this has werewolves in it and werewolves are classic monster but it is a girl who got bit by a werewolf when she was younger and never turned and then she kind of meets she meets some werewolves um and kind of goes along that line it's a really nice fantasy slash contemporary read i feel like like it has fantasy aspects but it's romance feels very contemporary i guess you could call it next is what big eyes you have read a book over 400 pages and this is a book that i have never talked about i usually only talk about like fantasy or sci-fi here on my channel but i have read some other I don't know genres in my life in light of a lot of the shootings that have been going on um, not only in the US which most of them have been I mean statistically um, but also everywhere else there is a book over 400 pages it is 455 but that was 19 minutes by Jodi Picoult and this is basically a book and it goes kind of through a shooting that happened in 19 minutes and it was so well done Jodi Picoult does she's just she's just a fantastic writer this is an author I don't talk enough about on my channel even knowing before booktube most of my books that I read were by Jodi Picoult if they weren't my regular YA fantasy and sci-fi yeah it's just it was a fantastic book Jodi Picoult is also known for um setting up a book to make you think that you know what the ending is going to be and then she just <sighs> she you know she throws up the cards and she's just like no that is not the ending i think every book that i've read by her i was completely surprised by the ending and this was no different i highly recommend this book it was just so well done and yeah and in light of all of that it does give some really good representation of basically mass shootings so please read this book it's so good next is chimera read a book that you could classify under multiple genres so this one is another one of those like fantasy type books with like a contemporary romance but this is one of my favorite series from like early high school um but that was Wake by Lisa McMahon I love this book um like I was saying the romance is very is very contemporary feel um but does have some fantasy aspects because it follows a girl who goes into other people's dreams basically when she sleeps she doesn't dream she actually is put into other people's dreams and she is put into I think this young man's dreams and it kind of goes from there but Lisa McMahon is a fantastic writer I think this is one of her debut books if I'm not mistaken I know she has the unwanted series that is children's books but this is YA and so yeah um it follows kind of like this mystery aspect of the boys dreams I haven't read it in so long but it is it is fantastic and as it says on the cover your dreams are not your own 
The next one is The Real Monsters. Read a book featuring monstrous humans. So this book, I have book two and I haven't read it yet and I'm actually not a huge fan of this book and I'm, I, I'm not exactly, I don't know what it is. I think I was just expecting something different so other people might actually like this series. It's just a duology, it's a very short duology and I know a lot of people that like some of her other books but this is Mind Games by Kirsten White and this, this follows two sisters. One sister is, we think she's completely normal and then there is the other other sister who is blind but she sees snippets of the future and so there is this monstrous government agency I think as a government agency I'm gonna call it a government agency who uses both of them and they're just very monstrous human beings so there is the sister who is blind but can see the future and so this corporation kind of uses her as you would expect and then the sister um, to keep her blind sister safe um, they send her basically on these missions to assassinate people and when you have a story where it has a blind girl who sees the future you think wow mind games is probably going to be about this sister but it actually more likely follows the sister who does horrible things for this agency i don't even remember if she actually kills people she might i don't remember but yeah and so i thought it was going to be a little bit more fantasy or sci-fi kind of like mind games of like being able to see the future and it just it kind of wasn't and it just i felt like it let me down in that aspect but i mean i enjoyed the books just i think i would have enjoyed it more if it was something that I was expecting but it, it wasn't so now you are all warned now you can all go into this book and maybe like it a little bit more than I did and the next one is unslightly read a comic graphic novel manga featuring a monster in this one I'm probably cheating um but I'm gonna go with Naruto any volume because inside Naruto is a monster actually the nine tail demon fox if you've been on my channel for any amount of time you know I absolutely love Naruto I also love Kurama the fox within him the beginning like the first half probably even a little bit more um the nine tails is seen as a monster this is boy with a monster inside of him and that boy is the feature and basically how he's outcast and he just wants to be a good ninja he just wants to be the hokage he just wants to be the best ninja and get the respect and love that he deserves so yeah um if you've ever seen the anime it's it's the same but yeah so I, i'm finally reading this series all the way through i just finished volume three but I highly recommend it's really good next is angry mob read a book that you've seen in an unhaul video this one I am gonna be reading at some point but I haven't read it but I've seen a lot of people unhaul shadow and bone by Lee Bardugo because they don't like it as much as they like the duology um, I think I'll like it just fine because I'm not a critical reader and I used I it's very rare that I don't like books even though I just told you how much I didn't like mind games but I mean this book is pretty much up my alley so I think I'll like it just fine but I have seen a lot of people unhaul it so so I don't even know what this book is about, but it's my recommendation for you guys. I just did that one. The next one is The Beast. Read a book featuring a monster with plant or animal traits. This one I have also not read, but I'm going to read it. I think this is one of the books for sure that's going to be on my Monster Thon TBR. So I don't know a whole lot about this book besides what people have been saying about it on booktube for like the past year. Try to stay away from it as much as possible. But that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I posted on Twitter saying, does someone in this book have animalistic traits? And everyone came back saying yes. So I know this is about the fey world. I know it's about I think two sisters that are taken there. One sister that's embracing it and another one that's not. Um, I know, I don't know, there's uh, a bad fairy. <laughs> I don't even know. But from what I have heard about it, I think I'll absolutely love this book. So yeah, <laughs> here it is. Also for this prompt, you could use Naruto because he has animalistic features and yeah, he has whiskers, sort of. It's hard to explain. Next is The Haunts. And this is to read a book featuring a monster that is dead or undead. And for this one, he's dead slash undead, but there is Dara from the city of Brass and he's kind of a monster. Monster ish. I don't know. But this follows a girl named Nari and she accidentally summons Dara and then he is led to believe that she has um, some powers and they travel to this city where she finds out yes she does have powers and it's it's probably it's one of the very few adult fantasy or high fantasy books I've ever read but it is so good. The characters are so believable. They're very real. Um, even when you hate 
some of them like absolutely despise they're just you can't despise characters like that in this book without it being absolutely beautifully written um and that's something that S.A. Chakraborty really did just so damn well um she wrote this series so well beginning is a little harder to get into but whew, once you're into this book you won't want to put it down Dara does have he is undead it gets into the technicalities of that but I'm also currently reading book two with a few people and yeah I buddy read that and yeah you know how many times I buddy read with Noria um from Noria reads so I mean it's fine and last but not least is the conspiracies and this is to read a book featuring an alien a robot or sci-fi based creature I'm going with illuminate the illuminate files number one and this has an AI in it that is just not a very good AI like bad AI it is basically people that were living on a planet that was destroyed and now they are all on this spaceship trying to travel to another planet and this AI is on the ship with them and there is basically government agencies and evil corporations and you know it has all the works audiobooks are absolutely fantastic full cast sound effects the AI it was really creepy. It has um, explosions and gunshots and yeah, so very good. And it does feature an AI. Yeah, it is a robot pretty much, right? Anyways, yes, here it is. I just finished all three last month and that will be in my July wrap up. So, and that will wrap up this Monsterthon tag. I'm going to take a couple people that I love, um, including Jade from Jaded Reader, Becca from Back in the Books, Joe from Average Joe Reads, Alana from The Awkward Book Nerd, Madison from Page paperback princess and Meg from Tom Infinity. So yes, I will tag everyone down below in the description box and then I will also tag you guys all on Twitter so you see it. But yes, this is just a fun tag video. Whether or not you're participating in the readathon or not, it would be great if you would do it. Anyone else who wants to also do it, please feel free. Whether or not you're participating, the tag itself is still fun. So here we are. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below if you want more of that stuff. So I'll see you all in my next video. All love. Bye.